Hello! What is up my YouTube people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have something a little special, something I'm actually really excited about. This makeup going on right now. I know you're probably like, what makeup? Because it looks that natural. I know. I wanted to do like a spring, summer, natural, glowy, dewy skin makeup look without very many products, without piling just stuff on your face, you know, when it's hot. There are a few products in here that I tried that are new. It was my first time trying so far. Everything looks freaking amazing. <laughs> Thumbs up for all that right now. But I know y'all trying to see how I got this. I know y'all see. I know y'all see this glow and it's not the pregnancy. It's that makeup, you feel me? If you guys are interested in seeing this look, then I'm going to go ahead and get started. But first... I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram so that y'all be up in on the info. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of info about the new blog I just started and I hope that you guys go ahead and subscribe to that also. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so it's spring, it's been getting so warm in California, and I just was inspired today to come up with like a dewy, natural, like radiant makeup look, so that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to be using a lot of illuminating products just because we're trying to illuminate. Starting off with this Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Radiance Foundation Primer, I'm going to use this as the base for my foundation. Um, I've used this primer before and I actually really liked it. Um, I wouldn't say, well I have oily skin so I wouldn't suggest this on a regular basis just because it does tend to make you look more oily um, throughout your day. I think maybe if you use like a really good matte foundation it may balance it out but um for the most part yeah it's it's pretty dewy you feel me first we're gonna start off with our eyebrows today is a little different with eyebrows because usually i go for like a really perfected groomed eyebrow look but today since we're trying to keep it natural we are going to go with something that's more natural I'm trying to get this freaking eyeliner pencil open for the last hour. Nobody could have made this more easy to get off. I can't. Jesus, finally. So starting with the eyebrows, I want to have like really defined hair strokes. So I'm using this Ulta Beauty um, Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This is in the color dark brown. I'm going to do what I always do, which is start start off dropping everything. I'm gonna start off my brows with what I always start off with, which is my e.l.f. brow gel. It's actually an e.l.f. eyebrow and um, mascara gel, but I only use them for my eyebrows. I like to start with this just because it creates like a very slick um, foundation for my um, eyebrow products to like really just like smooth on. Like it, it makes it so much easier. There's some products that are like harder to um, show up on your eyebrows and when you have like kind of like the gel on top, it just creates this slippery, like wet surface for the um, product colors to really come through. So that's just something that I do no matter what eyebrow product I use. So I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up in the direction that my hairs um, kind of naturally grow. So we're not gonna do any like extra shaping. Just like that, very simple. And then going in with the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This is actually my first time using this product. You guys know I like the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I also use the Maybelline um, Pencil, but we're gonna see how this one works. Thank you. 
Now going back to the face, we are gonna start off with an illuminator. This illuminator is just gonna be an added like product to just bring out some natural radiance in our skin, which is again what we're going for right. So I'm using the Seraphin Botanicals Luminude. It's 74% water-based skin illuminator. Very water-based. <laughs> Now going into foundation, I'm using a product I haven't used in quite some time. I'm going in with the Matte and Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is in the color 355 Coconut. heavy with the foundation at all because we want our natural you know some of our blemishes to peek through because that gives us the more natural look unless you just have perfect skin <laughs> and you ain't got to deal with that but you know not everybody's that blessed now I'm gonna take this NYX bright idea illuminating stick and I'm just gonna add a little bit more illumination in areas where the sun would naturally just hit you and you'd be glistening and looking all, just looking all cute. And I'm just gonna blend that in with the same brush I use for the foundation. This would just help from the illuminator stick making your skin too bright because the foundation that's left on the brush will kind of dim it down and um, make it kind of blend in with our skin a lot better. So that's it, if you can see, it just created this like nice natural glow. That's just so beautiful for the weather, like for the season we're in right now, like sign me up, okay? Now to highlight, I'm just gonna go with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand to highlight our face. use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend this out. I didn't want to go too heavy because we don't want a super highlighted look. So we're going to be blending for a minute. So we're just going to blend this all the way out. Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. Uh, this is actually my first time trying this, but I've heard good things about it. So we're just about to see. So I'm just gonna set my concealer. Before we go any further with our face, we're going to go ahead and start on our natural eye look. I'm going to be using the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics Collaboration Palette. Um, I have not actually used this palette yet, but I'm really excited to because there's some really pretty colors. And I think I'm going to go use the um, Radiant Highlighter in here as well. So I'm going to be going into the color Fairy Tale. This is the color that I'm going to apply on the lid. Uh, this is just such a pretty, like golden, bronzy, orange color that I think is perfect for spring and summer. I'm just gonna start right on the lid. Eyeshadow 
oil is so pigmented, it applies so easily. I'm in love with it so far. Going into the same, it's my Ray Ray palette. I'm gonna use the color Mousse just to go into the outer V. Freak, we're just gonna add that into our crease. Now I'm gonna go into the color Allison and we're just gonna use that to go on our brow bone just to make our eyebrows pop a little bit more. Now we're going to bronze up our skin. Bronze is like life when it comes to natural, glowy, radiant spring slash summer skin. So I'm going to be using this Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil. It's picking up more yellow for whatever reason on camera, but it's very much a brown, bronzy, beautiful. Bring some radiance some beauty. Oh my gosh. This thing is leaving like all kinds of hair on me. So going back into the It's My Ray Ray palette, we're gonna go back in with the same fairy tale color just to bring a little shimmer to our bottom eyelash. Our, our bottom lash line. Now to add even more of a natural looking look to this look, <laughs> we're going to add faux freckles. I'm gonna go back in with the same brow pencil we used to do our brows, the um, Ultra Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, because it's perfect to add the amount of freckles we need on our face, the perfect size. So all I'm doing is pressing and twisting the pencil to make the product show up without making, trying to dig in and making the freckles bigger. And they're gonna blend in with all my little moles I have over here too. Like so. So you can add as little or as many as you want. Um, this is the amount I went for. I try to focus on the center areas of the face where the light will naturally hit. Now I'm just gonna go over the freckles with this powder. This powder is by Milani. Um, it's in the color Deep and it's a shine proof powder. So this is just gonna help us um, to make the freckles look more natural to kind of create a layer on top of it so it's not straight brow pencil in your face. So now for blush, I'm going to super cheap brow. Um, I'm using the City Color Sun Kiss Trio. I know you guys are probably like, what? This color right here is going to be perfect for the blush that we need. Um, being African American, we can't go with anything too red or too pink, but something like more in the orange, brownish, tannish range will work perfectly for us. So 
So we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're almost done. We're just gonna set our face and add highlight. I'm using this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Just we've used a lot of matte products to kind of make sure that our oils are under control. So we're just gonna add a little something to bring out some natural radiance. Oh, some got into my mouth. So this is our BFF today, going back into the It's My Ray Ray palette. We're gonna go down now. <clears throat> We're gonna go down to the highlighting and contouring section. Why? Why must, thank you. And we're gonna go into the radiant highlight. And that is what we're gonna use to highlight our face. Oh my gosh, these highlights are so pigmented. I like literally barely tapped into this. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Life shouldn't be this difficult. For mascara, I'm going in with the Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. So for lips, I wanted to bring something like really natural that looks really similar to your actual lip color. I'm using this Paris Hilton liquid lipstick. Battery's about to die. It's been blinking forever. Next, I'm using this Knickknack gloss. All right, guys, that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are ready for the spring and the summer with this look. I really, really think that this is such a great look to go out in for every day um, to give just more of a natural, radiant look to your your outfit without putting too much effort without putting too much product on out in California it's been getting warmer especially in the IE and putting a bunch of makeup on your face and sweating bad combination so if you guys enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe to my channel um, I hope to catch you guys in my next video uh, before that though if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram it's at fleeting beauty underscore um, and it's the same for my Twitter and my Snapchat is wise and classy. And I also, if you guys didn't catch my last video, I didn't really say anything about it, but I did put a clip in. I just started a new blog. It's called uh, Words to My Daughter. So if you go down to wordstomydaughter.com, you'll be able to see everything I've been uh, writing about thus far. It gives a little bit more insight into my life. I really encourage you guys to go out and just take a look and subscribe to my blog. Um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. But until then, always remember that blessed are the pure in heart. Peace, smile, crease, cornrows, and afros.